Hi guys, it's Kay and Lee, and I'm so glad to be back with the Fictionistas after a few weeks. I have, um, I have promised to do a 30 day challenge where I am doing a video every day for 30 days on my other YouTube channel and I also will be doing every Tuesday for the Fictionistas from here on out. So wish me luck that I can stay consistent and do this because I, uh, right now I'm in, I'm, I'm in my son's room. Oh, there's his crib. And yeah, because uh, he's awake right now and I'm trying to get this done as quick as possible. So it's a lot. It's very hard to do everything with a newborn baby, but I will try my best. <laughs> okay, so today's topic is something that I get asked so much. I mean, it's probably the most asked question for like any author ever. How do you write a book? That's the question that I get asked so much. And that question is so layered that I don't even know where to begin, but I guess we'll just begin at the beginning. <laughs> so how do I write a book? Um, there's a few ways to go about it. I actually wrote, uh, I wrote Rise of the Flame, you know, I started that when I was 11, and I, I pretty much, it, it started with a dream, like most of my stories, but I had the vision and I just, you know, I got me a notebook and I got a pen and I just wrote what I saw in my head. And, you know, after a while, it just starts to form into a story. Just, you know, just write this, get the story out any way possible. The Chronicles of Koa was completely different. It also started with a dream, but I wrote a chapter every week on my blog. And um, so every week I put out a chapter and I posted it on social media and let people read it. And people loved it so much that I kept writing it. And then I decided to... Um, take it offline, take it off the blog and compile everything into a story, into a book. And that's what I did. So you can do an outline with your ideas. Um, you could do an outline with a particular idea and you can separate it into chapters, parts, scenes, whatever it takes to get that idea onto paper or onto your computer. Um, if you have a lot of ideas, I do something that I uh, I do something called a jot list where I'll just brainstorm, write whatever it comes to mind. I'll just write it all down on a paper and I'll select which ones are the most interesting to me and which one I feel like I could, you know, actually follow through with. So after you do your jot list, you do you you don't have to outline. You can literally start with the first chapter and, you know, just start with the first chapter, write it the way you see it, like almost like a movie, and try to get to that ending. If you can't, if it's hard getting to that ending, then it's okay to jump around and write different scenes. Um, once you get more scenes, the more scenes you get, the easier it is to complete the story. Um, it could be, it, it it really is hard sometimes to stick with something and follow through. But the more meat that you have in the story, the easier it is to finish. If you have a bunch of scenes that are done, the next part is simple. All you have to do is string them together. All you have to do is go back, flesh out those scenes, write your trans transitions, um, make sure every chapter, you know, begins with the hook, ends with the hook. That's what I like to do. I like my stories to begin with action and end with some action or end at a part where you're kind of like, oh man, I can't stop. I have to find out what's going to happen next in that next chapter. You know, it has to has to entice the reader. So, you know, once you get those scenes, string them together the best way you can and make sure your ending is good. And then you get to the real hard part. Writing is just the beginning. After you write the story, that's only the first draft. You have to go back and read through it, sort through everything, make sure everything is co cohesive and consistent, and you have to do a revision. So that revision will lead to the second draft. And then that's when you let your beta readers read it, send it to an editor, and uh, go through the other steps. But essentially, that is how you write a book. Um, I can recommend a few books for you to read. There's Plot and Structure. There's On Writing by Stephen King. Um, there's a few There's a few uh, articles on writersdigest.com. Um, 
you know, you could do all the research you want and read up from other authors, but the best way to write the book is to seriously sit down every day, set a word quota or a time limit, and write. You know, you're not going to get any writing done by reading about writing. I mean, it does help, but the only way you're going to write a book is to sit down and write. So, you know, get over any feelings of doubt you have and sit yourself in that chair and get your pen and paper, pencil and paper, or your, your keyboard and just get that story out. Your story is begging to be heard. So you just have to do it. And I wish you lots of luck. If you have any questions or if you have anything to contribute to this topic, you have any advice that you want to give the other authors, please put it in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And check out my other channel because I have so many videos um, on lots of different topics. And I hope you like it. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye. So I have great news. The Scarlet Legacy is now live on Amazon. And don't forget to sign up for my newsletter on knlee.com. I'll see you next time. Bye.